For a lot of years, I thought, you know, my whole adult life, I thought that when somebody uh, was referred to as having game, he's got game, I thought that was kind of a, a gangster rap kind of term for a person being good with ladies. Well, turns out that's not what the term means. I learned that last year when I read a, a very thought-provoking book by Jack Donovan, uh, The Way of Men. And in this book, he talked a good bit about having game. And what having game means is the willingness to get in there and fight and make it happen. And so this kind of originated with uh, game birds, dogs, uh, fighting dogs and birds and such. And I guess they have snake fights and such too, but the, the cock or the dog would be respected more if it had game. So maybe it was being badly defeated, maybe it was a lousy fighter, but it would keep getting up and getting back into the fray and fighting more. So it was kind of the origin of the term having game. And then it became something for, you know, men as well, men who fight. And I guess I shouldn't say it became that. It's probably always been that. It's been something that has been respected. And so if two men are going to fight uh, and one of them, uh, let, let's, let's just take a, a little bit more of a, I don't know, a, a, a baseline thing, not a, a modern big city soft man kind of thing, but a rough, tough, uh, older fashioned, more natural style man fight. And so in the tribe, two young men have a disagreement about something and they get into this fight. If one of them gets punched once and starts crying and slithers away, he does not have game and he is losing. He's not going to be respected by the rest of the tribe. He needs to get back in there and fight. Now, if he's really bad at fighting and he's throwing his punches wrong and he's doing everything poorly, but he's got game and he's jumping in there and really doing it, then the rest of the tribe, tribe is going to respect them. They might not pick him as the best fighter ever, but they're going to respect this person. And when he gets that respect, chances are he's going to feel uh, more respect worthy. And therefore, he'll go into the world with more confidence and, and perhaps achieve more. So we've talked about animal fighting, we talked about men fighting. Well, this can also be used, this term of having game, not with physical fighting, but getting into the fray and doing very difficult things. And so perhaps a business person who starts out with nothing and is just running up against obstacle after obstacle, and that they thought they had their plans together, but then they realize that they need a business license for this, and then they need this state certification for that, and then they need to fill out the, the get approved for the right to pay state taxes. And they're having all these obstacles thrown in the way, and they had just looked at the material challenges of starting this business, and they hadn't looked at all of that, but they keep fighting, and they keep plugging, and they keep going, and keep going, and keep going. Well, that person has game. And that is something that when you're among entrepreneurs, that is something that most entrepreneurs really respect about other entrepreneurs. Now, the person who is a wealthy, successful business person who had the business handed to them by mommy and daddy and have kept it going at about the same trajectory as it always was, that person isn't going to receive the same amount of respect for having game as the person who started with nothing and worked their way up. Or... Uh, like, oh my gosh, you really want respect. Start out behind the pack. Start out as a, a woman in a man industry. Start out as a, a man in a woman industry, whatever it is. And if you can come from behind the pack and work your way up and just keep getting told no, but charging forward, moving forward, inching forward, yeah, you're going to be respected. So then I put together this idea of having game in business with having game in liberty. And then I thought about another pretty important aspect that's kind of related, and that is not letting them see you sweat. And last year, a, a billionaire's handler who we were working with, he was telling me, he says, you know, the secret to, to having these folks respect you, billionaires, is not letting them see you sweat. He said, you know, there's some pretty high demands and, you know, they might not be that important, but, you know, we've got a, a lot of different family members that need to go here and do this and coordinating the security team and, and the restaurants and the jets and all these things. It's, it's a stressful thing, but 
He says he just always keeps a grin on his face and calmly moves forward with it, even when he doesn't feel that. And he said that that has just proven to be so important in his career as a, a handler. And so I, I apply this along with having game to the idea of being advocates for human freedom, being humanitarians. If we can do these things, if we can get knocked down and we think, oh my gosh, there's this great new app called App GPT, and, and finally it's this un non-biased, wonderful thing, and the government doesn't have its claws in it, and this is just going to be great. And then we realize that its learning system has taught it a lot of things that are very biased. Well, that's kind of like getting knocked down a little bit, but we're going to charge forward. We're going to grin and say, hey, it's a tool. We use it where we can. We're, uh, we're careful of this tool being used against us, and we just kind of move forward. We don't get excited or angry or panicky. We just stay calm and get back in the fray and keep moving forward. And we're told no by friends and relatives and, and people just don't get it when we're trying to share this message that's so important to us. And yet we keep moving forward, and keep moving forward. That's having game. I think I could sure improve in this. So I'm kind of making this video for myself. Maybe I should just watch it once a week and, uh, Remember that I need to have game and stay calm and charge forward for what I believe is a good thing.